And first tonight on News 11 at 7, our winter storm warning. This weather system continues to dump heavy snow on us. Five hours and counting now. Rush hour came early this afternoon. And a tragedy averted tonight right outside our studios here in Maryland Heights. A van off the road into a pond. Ooh. Rescuers were able to get to the driver, get him out of the frigid water and onto the roof of the van, then safely to shore. That was good. All right, now time to, oh man, get into the heart of it and look at that soup over the Poplar Street Bridge looking into Illinois from downtown St. Louis tonight. It doesn't look like drivers are gridlocked there, but we're going to get into much more of the traffic issues a little later in our show. For now, let's go straight to meteorologist John Fuller in the Weather Center. John? On time. Andy? Well, thanks, John. That's amazing. 8 to 12, already 7 in High Ridge in Jefferson County tonight. The road conditions started getting bad almost. As soon as the snow started falling between 2 and 3 o'clock this afternoon, it came quickly. People left early from work to try and beat the snow. Schools were getting out early, too. But again, that snow just seemed to fall more quickly than any of us were ready for, Erica. It's been a mess, still a mess tonight. Meteorologist Angela Huddy out on the road in the elements live. She joins us now from the Woods Basement System Storm Runner. Angela, back to you. Angela, thanks. And continue our winter watch coverage. And we want to make a point. Mm -hmm. Angela is out there. They're taking it very slow. Yes. Extremely slow. But that's pretty scary when you can't see the lines of the highway. I know. That and what a lot of people, you, you, you know, a lot of people are taking it slow, pulling off the side of the road entirely. But eastbound 4064 looks like the exception. I mean, traffic's tied up everywhere still. Let's check in with Molly Rose. Here's your real time traffic report. Oh, yeah, lots of closures still out there. Erica, Molly, thanks. The roads are not the only means of travel feeling the impact. Things are certainly in flux at Lambert. At News 11's Michelle Madaris continues our live team coverage from the airport tonight. Hi, Michelle. Michelle Medeiros, News 11. Wow, Michelle, thank you. The weather has presented quite a challenge for school officials. It's also been a dream come true for students who've been turning to superstitions, hoping to coax a snow day. Car riders, you are dismissed. Kindergarten, you're up next. Be ready. The early dismissal announcement was hardly a surprise to the 500 or so students here. It is a monstrous undertaking to coordinate with parents and bus drivers. And this is just one of 28 schools in the Parkway District alone, with about 17,000 students total. With snow covering the sidewalks as the children left, officials knew they made the right call. And they had a feeling this was coming, not just from the forecast, but also from their superstitious students who try all kinds of things to bring on the snow. Tape a penny to the wall or like put our pajamas inside out. We can never remember if it, we wear our pajamas inside out or backwards, so we just do both. <laughs> and then we have to do a silly dance before we go to bed. Freeze a white crown in your um, freezer and put it on your pillow. Sometimes I sneak to the fridge to get some ice cream. And the most cool thing, you can do a snowball fight. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Thanks to our friends at Craig Elementary School in Crave Core. Now, the last girl you heard from, her name is Mace. She never had a chance to play in the snow until moving to St. Louis this year from Saudi Arabia. A lot of kids like that at this school. The principal says his own daughter puts a spoon under her pillow and screams snow day into the freezer and then shuts the door quickly. Given the amount of snowfall expected, a snow day remains a possibility. Maybe Monday, Erica. She's going to have her first snowball fight. <laughs> yeah. A little girl from Saudi Arabia. That's going to be of snow fun. To have it with. Yeah, once this all winds down, she gets to have fun after that. Well, with night. Kind of good idea. It is nice to see in certain ways. You know, we don't like to see all the problems, but it, it is one of those kind of once in a five year period events. And it's upon us right now. We're on it for you. Still to come on News 11 at 7 tonight. A mother. And this is amazing news today. A story of survival from possible tragedy. The strangers who saved 13-year-old Jamie Kloss. She had been missing since October. In Wisconsin, an incredible story of survival in the wake of tragedy. Wisconsin police say the 13-year-old girl who's been missing since October, when her parents were found murdered, is alive. And we're just beginning to get a picture of what happened as police have arrested and charged a suspect. The new details on this from reporter Omar Jimenez. Boy, such terrific news mm -hmm. out of tragedy from Wisconsin tonight. Well, the snow keeps coming down here and it will well into the night. Coming up. Welcome back to continuing live team coverage. Winter Watch team coverage here on News 11 at 7. This is a live look from our Stiefel Theater cam. 
down Market Street in downtown St. Louis, Erica. Yeah, you can see that people are maybe even just leaving work. Not a good night to be mm -hmm. out driving. Uh, we have team coverage of the storm from all across the region. It continues for you now. That's right. News 11's Dan Gray is in East St. Louis, keeping up with IDOT's effort to clear the way for commuters. We are at the I'm Dan Gray. There's still a lot of accidents we're hearing about now yeah, in there, the course of the last half hour. There's a big one, I think, involving at least 12 different cars, and Molly Rose has your real-time traffic report. Erica, that's right. We've just learned. Send it back over to you guys. Well, Molly's been busy. And, yeah. you know, so the highway crews. We don't want no to shortchange those. And here the snow just continues. Look at it pouring down outside our studio here at Fox 2 at News 11 in Maryland Heights. Yeah, that's part of the big problem. Andy and Erica? Thanks, John. Can <laughs> you even say thank you? No, thanks. <laughs> no, no. Ooh. They really have nailed this forecast. Though. Yes, I mean, they I remember have. a week ago we started talking mm -hmm. about it, uh, and here we are, and it's just like they said it was going They've to be. They've been right on top of it this whole right, time. Well, it's, and now it's getting boosted a little more, you know, mm -hmm. on the edges. We may see more. Look at these photos. That's a pretty one with the caramel uh, in the snow. Yes, and we want to know what's going on in your neighborhood, especially with your pictures. Use the KPLR 11 app and send us your pictures of the winter weather and let us know what's happening around you. You can also upload pictures on our website at kplr11.com. What's that ruler say? Is that five already? Oof. And it's still daylight. It's probably more than that now. <laughs> yeah. All right, when your primetime news source returns tonight. And we've been watching these cars drive by and they are going pretty fast. Well, yeah, a couple of them dangerous. have really been zipping by. Woo. Yeah. But I don't want to be trying that tonight. I wouldn't want to be mm -mm. brave souls out there. Well, this massive snowstorm moved into the area today from the southwest. And News 11's Rocky Madden spent the day in Franklin County as this storm started to plow its way through. Well, we Rocky Madden, News 11. Well, let's get a check back on the streets of St. Louis. Meteorologist Angela Huddy rolling through tonight in the Woods Basement System Storm Runner. Maybe not rolling through, maybe rolling to a stop. Ange, what you got? Yeah, we're not rolling anywhere right now. We're Angela, thank you so much. you got to keep in mind with all of those wrecks out there, you can't send snow plows through. <laughs> so that really slows things down as well. Hopefully you can get the roads clear and get them cleaned up by morning for everybody. Still to come tonight, taking to the air to do battle with the winter weather. Copter crews. Well, people in Germany are finding out what it's like in St. Louis right now. Oh. <laughs> Private helicopter being used to remove layers of snow from treetops there. Yeah, we've never seen that here though. But according to officials, the snow atop these pine trees could weigh several tons. They're going to deal with it. Let's take a look at our favorite picture here. Look, wow, <laughs> that usually, looks different than we're used to, right? Usually you can see much more of the arch, but... Uh, Earth Cam shot looking into downtown St. Easy. Louis from the east side. Obviously, that's, that snow is still falling down and no signs of relief, John Fuller. Thanks, Sean. Going to be the perfect night and weekend to stay inside, right? That means food delivery services are super busy. We'll see how they're gearing up for an increase in orders. Oh, we'll say it again, a good night to stay in and watch weather coverage on News 11 and Fox 2 tonight. That means delivery drivers could be very busy right about now. Here's News 11's Patrick Clark. With Patrick Clark, News 11. Patrick, thank you. A live look, Erica, now on Manchester, Rock Hill, Glendale area. We just saw a plow go through, so that's a good sign, but yeah. still well, rocky on those slow, roads. I think you might get to where you need hmm. to go. Don't try to be, don't have to. We'll be right back. Yeah. They're not alone. Breaking news now about right. Schnucks. All St. Louis area Schnucks stores making the call too. They've announced that they are closing for the night at 8 o'clock, so just a couple minutes. Just order out for pizza. We have some away. Coverage continues on Fox 2 News at 9 and 10 o'clock. Be safe this weekend.